Hi, this is FT, author of Cooking Economy. And on this video, I'm gonna talk to you about my three favorite uh, cooking economy foods. Actually, the three top cooking economy foods. Uh, if you ask me uh, what three foods I would like to have in a big portion in my house, in, uh, in case there is something, in some emergency or any, any, any problem outside and I cannot go out for a month or two or three months, I would say that this is the three foods I would, you know, I would stock in my, in my house in, in case there is something, a uh, problem outside. On the other hand, these are the three foods that you can base your nutrition and still uh, eat well and give your body all that it needs. So the three foods are whole wheat, wheat, whole wheat, lentils, lentils, this is like legumes, like beans bean style of food um, and these are the small ones and oil extra virgin olive oil in Greece we have I think the best extra virgin olive oil of all the world uh, if you haven't ever tried Greek olive oil uh, try it um, fortunately in Greece it's quite inexpensive uh, we can have a big bunch of olive oil for a very good price so um, why these foods are the top three um, cooking economy foods? I would say that I definitely go for one uh, cereal, some grain. And wheat is the best grain because first um, you can store it for a long time, very long time. You can even store it for 20 or 25 years. If you store it well, you can, you know, you can eat it after 20 years. Um, and the, th the whole thing is to buy it whole. The whole thing with with everything and and the outside because if you get the flour the flour um, goes rancid quite quickly if you have the whole wheat you can make flour you can make um, burglar you can break it you can boil it like this or you can sprout it you can put it on water and let it sprout and this is very important the same thing you can do with the lentils and I'm gonna talk to you about later on this video so the first reason why these foods are good are quite inexpensive wheat is, is, is not, it doesn't cost too much it's possibly the um, one of the um, cheapest foods you can get out there even you can get in a big bucket or a whole uh, bag and this is going to be quite inexpensive second is the lentils the lentils is about the same thing uh, you can buy a bulk a lot of them and they're going to be quite cheap and uh, olive oil in Greece is quite inexpensive outside it might be a more expensive so anyway buy the best oil that you can have um, you can base your nutrition on these three foods and if you have a good oil with monounsaturated and unsaturated fat, fatty acids um, it's good for you so first reason is the cost low cost second reason is like long life as I told you, wheat, you can store it for up to 20 years or something, but I mean, you won't need it for so long, I hope so. But anyway, um, you can store it for a long time if you store it well. The same for the legumes, for the beans, and I prefer from all the beans the lentils because um, um, you can store them and also they are cooked much faster from all the other um, beans and uh, similar foods. And then um, olive oil, if you store it well, um, you can even uh, store it for a very, very long time. So sec one reason, low cost. Second reason, long life. Third reason is full nutrition. These three foods can give you all the body needs in macronutrients. So you can have complex, humble, complo, uh, complex <laughs> carbohydrates, um, from, from mainly from the beans but also from the lentils then you can have some good protein from the lentils about 20% of the lentils are protein and if you combine this protein with a protein from the wheat uh, you actually have full protein the same um, uh, quality of protein you get from um, from meat and from dairy so if you combine lentils with wheat and any any other kind combination of beans and um, cereals or grains you get full protein um, third thing is um, uh, fats you we need um, carbohydrates we need 
proteins and we also need fat and uh, olive oil has the good fats the fats that the body needs in order to to work properly and the brain needs so um, if you have these three foods you can have uh, all the macronutrients you need but the good thing is you can also have all the micronutrients you need all the vitamins and the um, and the um, and, and the metals and everything that your body actually needs in order to perform in the peak state. So, um, extra virgin olive oil has all the vitamin E and other things that um, are very good for you. Um, the lentils have iron and they also have some um, calcium as well and um, uh, good good um, proteins as we said and they also are have um, very all the good um, ingredients and, um, the wheat the wheat has uh, vitamins of um, B vitamins that are also very very important and this is the whole wheat okay with the kernel outside all of it so um, the other thing is because maybe you will tell me okay what about some vitamin C and what about some enzymes if you sprout the lentils and the wheat if you actually put them in water soak them and then you put them in um, some um, um, dry place or you can uh, put in in a, how you call this a rinsing basket a small thing like this and um, you leave them a bit on uh, moisture and every one day you put some water and you dry them as well and you actually leave them there with some moisture it's gonna start sprouting yes it's gonna sprout it's gonna bring out um, some green thing and it's gonna grow and at that point if you eat the sprout it's actually like eating salad and it's like living a live food food with all the energy and all the power from the sun and all the enzymes and then it has a high content in vitamin vitamins and vitamin C and also have a high amount of enzymes and um, other things that you really really good for you so if you ever you know if you ever have only these things things and you don't have any access to fresh fruits and vegetables uh, or vitamin supplements uh, you can sprout the lentils and the wheat and have a great meal and with um, sprouted wheat you can also make sprouted bread this uh, called manna bread or um, um, bread from sprouted seeds and these are very 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 good for you and really uh, give you really live energy so as we saw um, these foods are inexpensive are um, have a long life can provide you with full nutrition and the last thing is that um, they're tasty you can you know enjoy great meals with them if you cook them right and of course if you have good first um, first uh, f uh, very good quality of the um, it, it's one of them so for example extra virgin olive oil the best one you can have with low acidity if you can uh, get some from Greece from Crete or from other place from Greece um, remember that you won't regret it second the wheat if it's organic it's much better and um, it's also if it's made um, locally from your local producer it's much better to to um, support the local community same for lentils organic the best a good um, seed and try to to be not, not not you know all this gmo and all this stuff you know try to find the best one organic from small farmers and you will be great so stock up with uh, these three foods if you want to um, get your food budget down and still eat healthy base your food and cooking uh, your nutrition in cooking economy foods my top three cooking economy foods wheat lentils and um, extra virgin olive oil stock up with them in case something bad happens around the world so have a good time this is ft and if you want to find more information about my book cooking economy go to my website it's cookingeconomy.com Thank you very much. I'd like to hear from you. Leave your comments below and see you later.